Alrighty, here's the video now of my locomotive fleet. I don't have a lot. Um, I, I would like to get more, uh, but I'll show you what I've got anyway. Um, so I've got uh, my F45s, I've got FP45s, all there. I've got U. I think they're the U23Cs, from memory. None of these have decoders in them yet. I've got uh, two SD45-2s, SD40. So everything on this side doesn't have a decoder. I've got an SD45-2. It's got a Digitrax decoder in it, I believe. SD45-2, and I think I put a... I think it might have been a TCS decoder in that one. But then I've got three SD40s. They all have Digitrax in them, because that's how I bought them. SD40-2's got Digitracks. Again, there's a lot of locomotives here I bought with decoders in them. But there's a lot here I've put in myself as well. So, so they're my, I guess you could call them, my bigger power sort of stuff. And then I've got the smaller stuff here. Got an SD24, which I put a, it was either TCS or NCA decoder in them. Got two SD26s, JP35, JP35, NW2s. I've got three JP38s here, U23B. Um, I need to get replacement handrail set. So if anyone's got one laying around, let me know, or if anyone knows where I can get a spare part for them. But I also got to get the uh, exhaust as well that sits in there for U23B. And then I've got a GP7. This one, um, I bought it and it was only a DC version and what I bought I did was I bought a new chassis new motor everything like that finally got a decoder in it and it runs really loud for some reason so not sure why but anyway um, so all these locomotives here are DCC and then I've got some here that aren't DCCs so I've got it GP35, which I need to get a new, um, whole new chassis for it and everything like that. Got another GP38. Got a set of the PAs, which I need to put a decoder in them. And then I've got my F7 set, which I need decoders for. And uh, so that's where I'm... That's where I'm at with my locomotives at the moment. Um, and again, I've sold some, bought some, sold some. Um, I mean, I'd, ideally I'd love to get some more GP35s and, you know, some SD24s and stuff like that in this, in this paint scheme. Um... But unfortunately, like, the stuff that out, is out there, they want a fortune for it. Even on eBay, like, they're just asking way too much. So, um, you know, it's to the point where you just buy something a lot cheaper, different road name, strip the paint and paint it yourself, or, you know, it's one of those things... Um, so they, that's, uh, that's, like I said, me four axle stuff and me smaller six axle stuff pretty much. And then I've got me 
bigger six axle stuff there um, you know sad thing is too like I'm trying to model a particular in between I guess you could say late 60s to late 70s maybe early 80s and they didn't start painting the war bonnets until the around 1972 onwards so I mean I'd, I'd still really like to get a lot more like I said in in this scheme here the pre-72 scheme so especially the SD 26s and 24s um, I would really like to get a lot more of them and especially the GP 35s but anyway so that's those two trays of locos um, and then of course um, I've still got me Concor Santa Fe 2102 Oop, wrong end as you can see that was only about three four months ago I actually finally bought a I think a, they're an 8 pin decoder for it um, but I bought a TCS decoder for it that all runs great um, the only issue I have with it and I'm not game enough to touch it or do it is the some of the wheels aren't engaged so I need to find someone who knows exactly what they're doing with a steam engine to re-gauge and re-quarter all the wheels properly so it runs perfectly um, I'm, like I said I'm definitely not going to do that because I don't want to stuff it up but uh, I put the decoder in it, programmed it I ran it back and forth on me bit of test track not a problem, works a treat um, but yeah it's just that the wheels are out of gauge on it and uh, yeah I definitely would love to get it fixed so if anyone out there knows how to do it properly and stuff like please let me know because um, I would like to get it running so I can run this especially with my um, heavyweight stuff I reckon that would look pretty cool so there you go guys that's me loco locomotive update for 2018 um, like I said if you go through my previous videos you'll see the last update I did with everything so you'll see some new stuff you'll see some old stuff stuff I've sold and you'll see the difference anyway but anyway Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.